But the circus people must be up very early to load and move a circus. The circus people plan each part of the work so that it can be done quickly and easily. As soon as the train comes to a stop, the unloading begins. The biggest job the circus people have to do is to set up the tents. The wagon carrying the tent poles is unloaded first, so the circus tents can be put up immediately. Then the other wagons are unloaded. It is easy to roll them off the flat cars. Caged wild animals ride in some wagons. Hey, look out! There may be a lion in there. As soon as the wagons come off the train, they are taken to the circus grounds. While part of the workmen put up the tent poles, others begin to stretch out the big tents. Many men help with this job. Each man knows what he must do. By working together, they put up the tents quickly. Some of these workmen travel with the circus. Others are hired when the circus comes to town. Teams of men carry the big, heavy center poles from the wagon to the place where the tent is being put up. Other workmen place the huge center poles in position to be raised. When all the center poles are ready, they are raised one at a time. This machine drives tent stakes into the ground. Workmen drive some of the stakes. Several men work in a team. They hit the stakes with heavy sledgehammers. Each blow must be delivered at the right time. The edges of the tent are propped up first, before the center is lifted. Short poles are used to hold up the edges of the tent. When the men have finished propping up the edges, the center of the tent is pulled up onto the great giant center poles. Watch the buildings disappear as the tent goes up. The largest tent is called the Big Top. Because the tent is very heavy, Many men are needed to pull it up. Pull, pull, pull. Now the big tent is up. The biggest job is finished. Sometimes boys help with the tent ropes and earn a ticket to the circus. Circus people are always on guard against fire. They have their own fire truck. The truck carries a large tank of water. One man starts the water pump while the other man unrolls the long hose. These men test their equipment every day to be sure it is working. The city fire department sends a truck to the circus. The fire inspector tells the circus people the safest way to place the tents and wagons. The owners of the circus provide three meals a day for the circus people. Meat and eggs are being unloaded and put into the refrigerator wagon. A great deal of food is brought to the circus grounds every day. This man is bringing pies for dessert. The circus kitchen is set up in a tent. It is kept very clean. These cooks travel with the circus. They spend all of their time preparing food for the other circus people. This circus wagon belongs to the dining department. In it are huge kettles for cooking soups, vegetables, and stews. The cooks need large kettles to prepare enough food for all the people who work for the circus. The dining tables are set up in another tent. The circus people have been working hard all morning and are ready for a good meal. 
Milk is passed around in large pitchers. Everyone can drink as much as he wants. This woman is washing some tights for her husband. He is an aerial performer. Circus people spend much time keeping their costumes and clothes clean. The clothesline is fastened to the trailer wagon where this woman lives. Some of the circus performers carry their costumes in wardrobe trucks. Jane rides a beautiful horse in the big show. She brushes her riding clothes before each performance. This is Otto. Otto is a very funny clown. He is putting on his makeup for the afternoon show. Otto travels with the circus. He is one of the star performers. Otto puts on fresh makeup before each show. As soon as the afternoon show is over, he cleans the makeup off his face. After supper, he puts his makeup on again for the evening show. Now Otto is ready to put on his clown costume. He covers his hair with a white skull cap. His sparkling clown hat is made of sequins. Otto is sometimes called the white clown because of his white face and white costume. Otto enjoys wearing his clown costume and making children laugh. He is so good natured and so much fun that all the children like him. Otto's friend Mike is a clown too. He does a juggling act in the circus. He practices juggling before the big show starts. Several other clowns travel with the circus too. In some towns and cities, the circus hires extra clowns to work for a few days. These clowns are trying out a new act. Hey, Tom, would you please help me with this? Tony is another clown in the circus. Look at the duck on his shoulder. It never flies away. Do you think it's a live duck? The afternoon performance is about to begin. The clowns are waiting outside the big tent for their turn to go in. This is our friend Otto. Hello, Otto. Many people are buying tickets to the circus. They're eager to see the show because the circus has not been in town for nearly a year. All the children want balloons. They want peanuts and popcorn and candy, too. Hurry, hurry, hurry! The big show is ready to start! Fathers and mothers, boys and girls, young and old, are all going to see the circus. Now the afternoon show is beginning. Elephants lead the parade. Rosalie is fond of the elephants. She directs the stunts they do in the big ring. Other elephants in colorful circus blankets follow in the parade. The camels come next, carrying a beautiful girl who will dance in the show. Riders on high-spirited horses will perform in the ring. Now the little circus ponies bring on a brightly colored float. All the children will know the old woman in the shoe. What fun it is to see the fine show that...